What's inside my cabinet slash refrigerator vlog? First, let's go to the extraction room where we can find the tubes and some materials for vented puncture such as gauze, alcohol pads, plaster, syringes, and puncture-proof container. We also have infectious and non-infectious waste bin and a small warding box. This is the extraction chair where patients can sit comfortably. Then inside the cabinet we have the urine and stool containers. We also have the alcohol pads and plaster. And on the other side we also have sterilized gauze. Of course we have a lot of boxes of syringes 3cc's and 5cc's. Butterfly needle set and the vein illuminator that we often use. This brand is from Sungshin Medical Corp from Korea. We also have Glutol, which is a drink used for oral glucose tolerance test. We have 100 grams and 75 grams. This is the urea breath test kit, used to detect for helicobacter pylori. Then we have another non-biohazard bin, in a computer for barcode printing. A sink where we can wash our hands before venipuncture. More syringes, this is my favorite brand Taruma. Evacuated tubes with different additives. Gloves, sterile lancet, filter paper and tourniquet. This is a small cute and a tube. The small tube requires 0.5 milliliter of blood while the big one requires 2 milliliters of blood. The yellow tubes will gel separator and the biohazard spill kit. In the case of a biological spill a biohazard spill kit will be necessary. It can safely absorb nearly any type of bodily fluids quickly and sanitize the area. This is the procedure on how you will use it. We have chlorine tablets, dilution bottle, chlorine granules, scoops and scrappers, gloves, and waste bags. Now let's go in. These are the test kits. Pregnancy test kit. Fecal occult blood test kit. H. Pylori stool antigen test. Materials for urine analysis. Gloves. air freshener, the sterile swab,
This is the AMI's transport medium. Now let's move on to the next cabinet. These are the stocks of our test kits. Parafill. Cover slip. Filter paper. Specimen bag. Specimen bag. This is the centrifuge area. We use the centrifuge for the separation of fluids. Gas or liquid, based on density. We use it to spin body fluids. Microscope in another non-bio bin. A small refrigerator for some reagents. Mechanical rotator. This is the temperature monitoring sheet. Now let's see what's in the ref. This is the uric acid strip and the other one for control. Take note that the temperature for storage may vary from one reagent to the other. The one that we put in the ref are the ones that need lower temperature you can see the note in the box of the reagent. Here we can see s RPR, albumin, CRP cholesterol. Brichella, Salmonella, Reagent for Glucose, Total Protein, Triglycerides and SGOT, On the other hand these are the reagents that need to store at room temperature, creating nin and bilirubin. This is the sample cup, microtube, pipette tips, glass tubes and plastic tubes, disposable pipette, spectrophotometer, Refloatin Plus, printer and the control sheet. Another printer for Ruby Analyzer. Antisera. Pipette, applicator sticks and slides. This is the ESSER detector. The Westergren tube. another bin. The Ruby Hematology Analyzer that we use for complete blood count. Sysmex 3 Parthematology Analyzer. Cobus C311 A Fully Automated Clinical Chemistry Analyzer. Cobus E411 for, one one for immunoassay analysis. This is the waste bottle. Water container. Safety cabinet and autoclave. Incubator where we grow bacteria. Let's open the refrigerator. 
Jacoba's Reagents and Calibrator. Antisera and Febril Inogens. Refrigerator for sample storage. Heating oven. Stains and some reagents for refloating. 